Hello viewers, my name is Madam Tekla. I'm here for Civic and Moro. We are welcome. Our topic today is about national symbols. National symbols. But now we are going to deal with only one symbol known as national emblem national emblem why national emblem national emblem is a special symbol which stands as a national badge of a country or company or organization or school national emblem is also called the coat of arm i mean another name of national emblem is coat of arm. National emblem comprises of several components and each component as it is meaning. Component number one is a man and woman. A man and a woman. As you see in this picture, you can find a picture of man and woman. This picture of man and woman shows gender equality and cooperation. Another component is elephant tusk. This is component number two. Elephant tusk shows wadi life resources. Component number three is Mount Kilimanjaro. What does Mount Kilimanjaro represent? Shows the pride of Tanzania. Why pride of Tanzania? Because Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest mount in Africa. Component number four is national flag. National flag shows Tanzania as an independent country. Component number five, blue waves or sea waves. Blue waves or sea waves indicate coastline or water bodies resources like lake, ocean, river, etc. Component number six is Uru Touch, which represents unit, love, and hope. Component number seven is Yellow Portion. Yellow Portion represents minerals found in our country, like Tazanite, Diamond, Silver, and so forth. Component number eight. Red portion. Red portion represent rich fertile soil which is mostly used for agriculture. Component number nine is cotton and cloth. Cotton and cloth shows the crops grown in Tanzania. This does not mean that in Tanzania we have only two crops, no, but Cotton and cloths represent other crops which are grown in our country like banana, cassava, maize, beans, etc. Component number 10 is Uru na umoja. Uru na umoja. This is a Swahili phrase which indicates our national motto. Our national motto. Uru na umoja in Kiswahili. In English, we call it freedom and unit. Component number 11 is shield and spear, which represent tools used for defense and security. Component number 12 is axe and a hoe, which represent tools that people of Tanzania use in developing, developing the country, or tools which are used for production. So this is all about the national emblem, which comprises 12 components, and each component uh, it has got its own meaning. And this national emblem, it is a special symbol in our country because it stands as a national badge of a country or school or organization 
Also, it is used in government documents like passport, etc. Thank you.